But I do worry that I tell people a bit too soon in any conversation that I've got cats. I've got cats, it's too soon, it's too soon. I've got cats, that's lovely, and your account number is. <laughs> And that's because they're not too bad in the middle, but I've often got big scratches on my arms and I don't want anybody to ever misconstrue what those scratches are. I don't want anybody to ever leave my company going, she seemed really happy, but did you see her arms? <laughs> when truth be told, it's because I cuddle them too tight and the fuckers fight back. <laughs> But the first cat we got uh, two years ago, a little ginger kitten, he's called Chief Brody, named after the police chief in Jaws. <laughs> I was still living in the flat at the time, and I thought, I'll let him have a wander around, get his bearings, have a bit of a sniff, a bit of an investigate. And he went round the back of the sofa, and I was quite surprised, because I'd lived there for six years, and I'd never been round the back of the sofa. <laughs> and the hoover certainly fucking hadn't. <laughs> And he came back round with what can only be described as four big grey fluffy slippers on. <laughs> so I sent him back round to finish the job. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever tried to lit a train a cat, it's normally quite straightforward. Whenever they look like they're about to do something, you pick them up and you plonk them in the litter tray, you hope for the best. But Chief Brody took a while to cotton on, kept having it laxed into poor bugger. And at one point, my fellow and I were standing over the litter tray, just looking at each other, going, is there anything we could be doing to help him that we're not already doing? And my fellow, because he's so lovely, he looked down at the litter tray and he went, do you want me to do a shit in it to start him off? <laughs> no. No, I really don't. <laughs> it would be end to end. <laughs> and the cat would be like, who the fuck lives here? Aslan. <laughs> But I have two friends who look after my cats when I'm away from home. One of them is an animal lover, one not so much. Give us a cheer if you consider yourself an animal lover. Yeah. Give us a cheer if you're not really bothered. Yeah. It's totally fine, isn't it? It's totally fine. My friend who is the animal lover, she looks after them because she loves them. My friend who isn't the animal lover, she looks after them because she loves me. It's very sweet. So the friend who is the animal lover, when she looks after them, she'll take a photograph of them to send to me. And underneath the photograph, it'll say, Hiya, ma'am. Because they call me ma'am. It's not weird. Fuck off. <laughs> And I know that we're close, because whenever I see them, they always need a shit. <laughs> I say, hiya, ma'am, we miss you, we'll see you soon, and it settles me. Wherever I am in the country or the world, it settles me, because I know that they're safe and that they're happy. My friend who isn't the animal lover takes a picture just the same, but underneath her picture, it'll say, here is the photograph you requested. <laughs> they are still alive, I will check again tomorrow. <laughs> But they are house cats, they don't go outside, they will go outside at some point, but I'm sort of nervous. I'm nervous, I'm nervous for their safety, but also I'm a little bit worried about what they might bring back in with them. I know this is a thing that cats do. Have we got cat owners in tonight? Yeah. Quite a few of you. Now I know that whatever they bring in, be it a mouse or a bird, uh, if it's still alive, I'm going to try and catch it and put it back in the garden. And if it's dead, I'm going to put it in the outside bin. That's fine. But what I don't know is what I'm supposed to do if whatever they bring in is still a little bit... <laughs> Twitchy. Has this happened to any of you? Yeah. Oh, nearly all of you. This is horrible. <laughs> Let's get some suggestions what you think I should do. Let's start at the top. So anybody in the top section got a suggestion what I should do with a half-dead animal? Shout out. Put a bucket over it. Put a bucket over it. <laughs> Have you done that, love? Yes. Yes. What animal was it? A bird and a mouse and a rat. A bird and a mouse and a rat at the same time. <laughs> like a tiny little rubbish zoo. <laughs> so are these all separate occasions? Separate. Yes. And so you put the bucket over it until... The husband came home. Oh. <laughs> until your husband came home. <laughs> We've got a feminist in, girls. <laughs> and then what did he do? Luckily they'd all died. Luckily they'd all died. <laughs> the best sentence I've heard in ages. <laughs> we should all start adding that on to the end of all of our stories. Luckily, they all died. <laughs> Good answer, lady upstairs. Anybody in the next section down got a suggestion what I should do with a half-dead animal? Hit it with a spade. Hit it with a spade? <laughs> he didn't even have to think of that, did he? Just hit it with a spade. <laughs> hit it with... Is that, have you done that, love? Yes. Yes? <laughs> <laughs> Was it definitely an animal? <laughs> I'm going to 
couple of ex-wives in your garden or anything? <laughs> Anybody else in that section? Yeah. CPR. CPR. <laughs> oh. You, the rest of you feel like such shits now. <laughs> CPR. Have you done that? Yes. Yes. What animal was it, love? Cat. It was a cat. <laughs> Option one, she has not understood the question. <laughs> Option two, her cat brought in another cat. <laughs> I'm gonna go with option two, because that feels awesome to me. <laughs> Anybody in the next section down got a suggestion what I should do with a half-dead animal? Give it back to us so we can finish it off. <laughs> give it back to the give it back to the cat. So so we can finish it off. And when you okay, when you say finish it off, all right, sorry, you mean eat it. Okay, sorry, I wasn't. <laughs> one tiny final wank. <laughs> and a cat couldn't even do that because they don't have that kind of hands. It'd have to do it with its paws. <laughs> well, you've just made me mime a cat wanking off a mouse. <laughs> you dirty bastards. <laughs> So you mean give it back to the cat so the cat can eat it? I like that idea, because that feels like good parenting, doesn't it? Because it's like, finish your tea or you're not playing out. <laughs> I like it, it's good. Uh, anybody else in that section? Put it on YouTube. Put it on YouTube? <laughs> oh, we've got a young one in. <laughs> How old are you, Flower? 25. 25. Get out, fuck off. <laughs> Look around you, love. You don't belong. <laughs> <laughs> that was so much fun. Sorry. <laughs> Being rude to young people, you should try it. It's awesome. Um, <laughs> next level down. So, are you the grand circle? Is that what you the grand circle? It's a the lady there. Like, yes, we're grand. Okay. <laughs> so, the grand circle, anybody got a suggestion what I do with a half dead animal? Bash it with a hammer. <laughs> Fuck, where are you from? The felon. <laughs> I love that there's a lady cheering that I've just implied that she's from the felon because you're clearly from the felon. Yeah! <laughs> Why bash things with hammers? <laughs> Anybody else in that section? Chuck it over next door. Chuck it over next door! <laughs> Anything that stops you having to talk to your neighbours. <laughs> Good answer, thank you very much. Anybody in the boxes or downstairs got a suggestion? Hold on, hold on. We're coming back to you. <laughs> Say that again, love. Put it in a pie because you know it's still fresh. <laughs> it's clearly all he's bothered about. Is it fresh? Yeah, well, I'll eat it. Doesn't matter what the fuck it is. Have you, have you done that? With, you've, oh, you've, so you've had chips with it as well? Oh, and what kind of animals have you put in pies? Nothing exciting, just a pigeon. Nothing exciting, just a pigeon. <laughs> Pussy pie's nice. <laughs> Wowzers. You actually went there, didn't you? He's doing that with his arm as well, like he's a fucking winner. <laughs> Something tells me by how mortified your girlfriend is that you're not going to get any of that for a while. <laughs> <laughs> so pie, and there was another one at the back. Shout again. Put it in a cage and keep it as a pet. Keep a half-dead animal as a pet. <laughs> Have you done that? It was fine. It came back to life all right. Oh, what animal was it? It was a vole. It was a vole. <laughs> lady at the front is a big fan of fucking voles. <laughs> Finally, somebody mentions voles. How long have I fucking been here? Nearly half an hour. <laughs> Nobody's done any vole jokes yet. <laughs> and how long did it live? It lived for about a month and then it escaped. <laughs> you know why it escaped? Because it's a fucking wild animal. <laughs> It didn't escape, it went home. <laughs> Anybody else downstairs? Give it to the dog to chew on. Give it to the dog to chew on. Oh. 
so I've got to get a dog now. <laughs> what do I do with the stuff the dog brings in? Give it to your horse. Fucking hell. <laughs> this is going to get out of hand. <laughs> See, I asked this question when I was working in Australia uh, last year, and I would occasionally shit myself. I slightly forget I was in Australia, and when people would say things like lizards, I would think, fucking lizards? I didn't know this might happen. Tiny dinosaurs, because that's what they are. <laughs> One lady said, my cat brings in half-dead lizards. And I said, what do you do? She said, I take them to the vet, and then after a week, I go back and check up on them. I said, well, what happens when you go back and check up on them? She said, well, the vet always says, I managed to revive them, and I've released them back into the wild. And I thought, oh, bless your cotton socks for fucking believing that, love. <laughs> they must see her coming, mustn't they? <laughs> oh, fuck, it's lizard woman again. <laughs> With a bag of half-lizards. <laughs> Expecting us to match them all up. <laughs> Brenda, look, that doesn't go. The pattern's different, can you see? <laughs> Try that one. No, but I've seen that one somewhere before. <laughs> Another lady said that her cat brought in a half-dead parrot. I said, what did you do with a half-dead parrot? She said, I just put my fingers over its nostrils for a while. <laughs> Which is all very well until the parrot realises it has a mouth. <laughs> Fuck, that was close, that was close. <laughs> then one really serious lady, very straight face, she said, uh, Drowned it. I said, what did you drown? She said, It was a frog. <laughs> I love the idea of a frog going, Oh no, don't put us in the water. I hate the water. That's my natural habitat, she's a fucking idiot. Oh no. <laughs> My sister said, are you going to bury all of the animals your cat's bringing in the garden? And I said, no, because it's the first time I've had a garden as an adult. I'm not about to turn it into a pet cemetery. <laughs> then I thought about it, and there is a plus side to this. Think of how many magnums I'd have to eat for all of the little lolly stick crosses. 